going to make some strawberry mousse cups. These are a lot of fun for a party because the cups are made out of chocolate and the filling of strawberry mousse. How much better can you get? So this is a recipe that my mother made for years and years and years for strawberry mousse and maybe some of you have also. I've got one package, a small package of regular gelatin. Strawberry flavored. And I've got some warm water or some boiling water. So I'll get my one cup of boiling water. So far, just like on the package, add it to the gelatin and mix it up till it gets dissolved. Get all that junk off the sides because you don't want those left. Now normally at this point, after you've dissolved it in the warm boiling water, you would add cold water. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to add strawberry juice. And what I did was I went to the supermarket and in the frozen food section in the thing, I've got a 16 ounce can of sliced strawberries with sugar. You want it in the sugar. You don't want the kind that are just frozen whole strawberries because you want that juice. I put it into a sieve, defrosted it first, put it into a sieve and got the juice on the bottom and I have the strawberries on top. Put the strawberries aside for a second and this becomes my cold instead of water. Okay, it's almost a cup. I'm shy for like a couple of drops, so I'm not going to get all crazy about that. This will add so much more strawberry flavor than water. And I'm going to add that, mix that around. And now the strawberries. I don't want to put these in whole. They, they, they're not good whole. Trust me. So I'm going to take them, put them in my mini prep. And give them a little bit of a ride. Get them all pulsed and chopped up. Okay, that's good. We have a puree now. We'll add that. And now what I'm going to do is after I add this is I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator until it starts getting very syrupy. That's the important part is you want to catch it at that point because then we're going to whip up some heavy cream and add it to this and that will be our mousse. So there we go. Get all the stuff down from the sides. Wrap it up put it in the refrigerator and I hope I catch it at the right point. While the strawberry mousse is chilling, we're going to make some cups, some fun cups. Now I went to the store recently and I found these cups, which are pretty cute. I mean, they're nice little cups there. It says 80, no, 64% dark Belgian chocolate. They smell good and I'm sure they're great, but I'm going to show you another way to make a cup too by using disposable paper or plastic cups. And I need to melt my chocolate. And there's no measurements here because it depends on how many cups you wanna make. I just have here a bag and a half of good uh, chocolate bits that I'm gonna melt and start making some cups. I have to melt it first in the microwave, then I'll show you how to make the cups. So while the chocolate is melting, there's something we have to do to these cups that's gonna make our life really easier later on, later on, on molding them. I'm only going to fill my cups up to about three quarters. There's like little ridges over here, so I'm going to fill it to the top of the ridges. But I want to take a pair of scissors and make a snip in each cup. And it makes the peeling off later so easy, because if you don't do that, it's going to be very hard to not break your cups. There we go. All our snips are done. And we're just waiting for our chocolate to melt. Sorry. So for this amount of chocolate, it took just under two minutes in the microwave. And again, I'm using a flat knife to mix it up just to get any lumps out of there because we want this as smooth as possible. So I thought a ladle might work 
really well. And you want to fill the cup up to the height that you want it. Okay. And now spill it out. You want it to be sturdy, so you don't want to spill everything out. You want a good thickness on the side. Don't worry about the excess. We'll cut that off at the end after it's really hard. So there's one cup. You can do this with white chocolate. Um, you can do it with milk chocolate. I have a couple of white chocolate ones, which I will show you later, but I prefer good old dark chocolate. This is a 64% uh, chocolate, also the same as that those chocolate cups that I showed you before. It's a good quality chocolate, the dark chocolate. If you don't want to use chips and you really want to go whole hog, you can buy the really good stuff in a block and chop it up yourself. That stuff is really great. All right, I'm only going to do four. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in the refrigerator now and let them set up until they're nice and hard, and then we'll show you how we unmold them. Our chocolate is set up in our cup, so let's see if we can unmold them. So you find that little niche that we made, just break it. Sacrifice the cup. Oops. Now you can see why you don't want it to be too thin. Now obviously that's a little misshapen, so I just take a very sharp knife and just go around and create a cup. Now it's not as perfect as those other ones that I showed you, but it's homemade, made with love. And you just keep unmolding them. Now, I also made a couple of white chocolate ones doing the same way. So now, and you can see, well, I lost a piece over here, but that's okay. Again, they're homemade. So now that's how you do the cups. We're waiting for the strawberry mousse to set up, and then we'll fill them, and I'll show you how to serve them. Our strawberry gelatin is out of the refrigerator and it's syrupy but not set. That's what we want. And now I'm going to take one cup of heavy whipping cream and we're going to beat it up in the mixer until it forms not stiff peaks but soft peaks. It's a little noise. If we did it all the way to uh, stiff peaks, it would be almost impossible to blend it completely into the gelatin. So now we're going to add that in to the gelatin. You know, with the addition of that strawberry juice from those frozen strawberries, it smells so much more like strawberries than your regular gelatin would. So now it's just a matter of folding until it's all blended well. And if you have any left over after filling your cups, you could just put them into regular pudding bowls and let them set in the refrigerator. This stuff is delicious. Okay, now I want to get them into the cups and the easiest way is to put them in something like this. This isn't like whipped cream, so you better hold it upside down or it's all going to come running out. And now we just start filling our cups. <laughs> oh well. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea.
that's okay. These are going to go into the refrigerator and they will harden up. Save the rest of that. I'm going to make strawberry mousse cups after, I mean, uh, just regular pudding cups for myself. I'm going to spill out a little bit of this and then these will go into the refrigerator and then I'll show you how to serve them later after I clean them up. The strawberry mousse has started to set up in our cups and now I'm just putting a final decoration on them. I'm putting on some of my doodahs. Now you're asking what a doodah is. I've made these before and you can watch the video on YouTube. Just search for my website. And there are our strawberries in our cups. They are so cute and they are equally delicious.